Age of Empires 2 is ridiculously complicated, and I'm sure you know this if you've watched it or if you've played it, but that is part of what makes our game timeless because there's always something to discover and there's always something to learn. There is one aspect of the game that is considerably more difficult to learn, and I think a lot of this is just because normal maps are hard to learn, and that is water maps. A lot of players get onto water maps and they don't know what to do or how to play it, and so it's just like a very new experience. Now, I've been saying this for a while now, decided to finally make a formal video on this, and maybe I'm wrong, I'd love to hear your thoughts, but I think the dock needs to be reworked because there are one too many things confusing players already, and there's avoidable things with how our game works that I think the devs could possibly tweak. So, hear me out on this. When you go to a dock, there's two pages, and that is already something that is really, really hard for people to get used to. Uh, I've seen many YouTube comments about how they didn't know there was a second page in a dock, uh, and this is a consistent theme in Loey the Legends where players are just not able to make certain types of ships because they don't see it. So you can see bottom left here, there's a uh, second page. You click over here, and this is where some other things are located. Now, I guess with how the dock works, it is very difficult to make it so it's all on one page. I get it. You've got a different upgrades here. You've got different ships. I think there's ideas to possibly tweak everything and maybe put it onto one page, but let's just assume you have to stick with two pages. The problem I see with the pages is that the most relevant things for a player on a water map are not on the first page. So let's just assume that you're someone who doesn't know a lot about the game and you go in here. And as far as you know, you can make a fishing ship, you can make a transport ship, you can make a trade cog, and you can make a galley. If you know water meta, if you watch water games, whether it's low elo to high elo, you know that fishing ships are important, transports are rare, trade cogs even more rare, and then galleys can be quite important as well. And over here on the second page, you have demos, which are hugely important, and you have fire galleys. The water triangle revolves around three things. You have the galleys, you have the demos, and you have the fire galleys, and too many people are not seeing what is back here. So I have an example where a player just the other day was trying to make demos because this player has maybe seen videos or maybe knows about demos but is still learning and click the trade cog instead. And this poor player even made it to the second page later and upgraded to heavy demo and still, I don't know if it was a hotkey issue or whatever, still thought it was a trade cog. That's a whole nother conversation. Maybe the trade cog looks too close. Maybe reading is too difficult a task. I don't know. But my first proposal, guys, something that I would do if I was a dev and had control over, is I would move the transport ship and the trade cog to the second page, and I would bring the demo ship, and I would bring the fire galley to the first page. Now, the first thing that's going to come to mind after that is, okay, well, T90, where does careening and where does shipwright go? Because you're going to have, you need to have the technologies like fast fire and the technologies like demolition raft underneath it right? I think that's how it works. Well, I think there's space here. There's two spots right here. Just shift some things over. The space is there. That would be the first thing I would tweak. The next thing I would tweak probably has a higher level of importance. And to explain to you why we are where we are right now, I think you first need to remember kind of how the water meta used to work back in the day, as we say. In the past, water meta was dominated by galleys because galleys were the only thing that you were able to make in feudal age. You could not make a fire galley, and you could not make a demo raft. There was no feudal age equivalent to demolition ships and fire ships. So what would happen is players would go to control water in feudal age. They have one option, and it's galleys. And to make matters even worse, galleys are kind of like archers, where if you really get the ball rolling on the numbers, it's almost impossible to stop them. This led to fires being quite weak, because by the time you could get to castle age to make fire ships... The other guy already has 20 to 30 galleys that he's going to upgrade soon, and fires are simply not that strong. So what the devs implemented was this feudal triangle system, where you do have galleys, but you also have fire galleys, and then you have demolition rafts. And then they attach the upgrade for fire galleys and demo rafts, not to arriving to Castle Age, because they felt that would be too strong, but to a technology. And this is very, very confusing. So right now, Let's say I'm a low elo player and I'm making fires, okay? I'm making lots of fires, making lots of demos. The situation I'm making it in doesn't necessarily matter. And I make it to Castle Age, and as you can see, I'm in Castle Age now. And I want to upgrade these things. I go to my dock, 
Hmm. I don't see anything. Hmm. Wait a second. Fast fire ship? It says upgrades your fast fire ships and lets you build the fast fires. But wait, is that in the next age or something? Yes. Fast fire ship actually is an imperial age upgrade. And fast fire ship is after fire ship. But there's no obvious way to get fire ship here. And I'm looking directly beneath what I need to do. In fact, I can't even get regular demos. What's going on? Well, where that is, is here. Upgrade to War Galley, Fire Ship, and Demolition Ship. You research this, your problems are solved. The problem is, the War Galley is a unit. The, the War Galley is a separate type of unit. To make a land comparison, as I'll get my upgrades here and show you the switch, if I were, it, it's kind of like researching uh, Cavalier and then having my scouts turn into light cav. I don't know if that example works, but it's a highly confusing thing for players, and it leads to a lot of players, thank you AI for asking for wood, not realizing that they even get this. I actually had my uncle bring it up to me <laughs> at a family event years back, and he was like, uh, how did you get the upgraded ships? I see it all the time. It's like every civ I play doesn't get that, and I had to explain. Oh yeah, you know that war galley thing? You know the thing you're not making? Again, like per my example, You'd be making this. You have to go below that and upgrade that. So my proposal, because I think that the way it works is actually good for balance. I think it is really important that you do have to research something to upgrade your demolition ships and your fires. The proposal that I've given to the devs and I've been speaking about is just changing what the upgrade's called. And maybe even changing the location of it, but it shouldn't be called War Galley. If you want to make a War Galley, you click War Galley. But if you want to upgrade something, I think it should have a generic name. So you could call it Ship Upgrade. It could be the dumbest name. I'm not concerned about the name. I'm sure there's plenty of ship-related things that they could name it. But just something that is a generic ship upgrade that maybe didn't show a war galley on the side of it would make more sense. Again, you look at all these upgrades. You look at Galleon. Guess what? You click Galleon, and it upgrades your war galleys to Galleon. On the side of it is a Galleon. You upgrade your fire ships. There's a fire ship on the side. It upgrades only your fire ships. The way this works, the way the War Galley upgrade works right now is very unique, and I just think it needs to be a little more clear. This is something that has just been bothering me for a while about water maps. And honestly, I'm not sure if I would have ever made the video if I wasn't casting Lily the Legends. I see it all the time. Players are confused on water. They don't know what to make. They don't know there's a second page, and they don't know how to upgrade their ships. The fact that docks have two pages is very much unique. It doesn't happen a lot in other buildings. In fact, it might be the only building where that's the case in Age of Empires 2. So that I'm not necessarily sure how to solve. Because if you're new and waiting into a new game, you're probably going to miss some things here or there. But if we're still going to have two pages, let's just shift some things over so the more relevant ships are available. And then make a tweak to the War Galley upgrade, change the name, maybe even give it a new icon. And I think a lot of players are going to understand, oh, this upgrades multiple ships. Instead of sitting around in Castle Age, wanting to make fires and saying, how on earth do I get the fire ships? Now, I am a very passionate individual. I care a lot about this game, okay? And there's still many things I think that could be changed to make this almost perfect game wood, even better. And this AI continues to ask for wood, so you know what? Let's just help him out. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts, okay? Are you someone who has struggled with this or did struggle with this in the past? Do you have any ideas or do you have any suggestions? Because the point of this video isn't to call out the devs for like, Oh, how could you be so dumb not to realize this? That's not what this is. I just want to push the community forward. You guys have a lot more experiences than I do as an individual. And maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe you guys have even better ideas to work off of what I've already said. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I have some more videos coming out soon where we're going to talk about different things that we could possibly tweak with the game. Again, as I already stated, the goal is just to push the game forward and make it easier and more fun to play for your average player. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Give a like and a comment. See you next time.